Hey guys, this is Plutonium here and welcome to another Redstone tutorial. Today's video might look similar to the triple piston extender tutorial that I did recently, but this time we are actually going to take it one level higher by adding another level or actually another piston in the equation. And uh, this video is also a part of a new playlist that I have created on my channel. Please go watch that one. The name of that playlist is Basic Redstone Elements and this one is actually a part of this video along with a few other videos and in this playlist I'll be uploading videos which tell you how to make some of the basic requirements some of the smaller redstone mechanisms and circuits which might be required in bigger builds so actually these are not full builds and uh, all of the videos that actually appear in this playlist will be partial builds so looking behind me I have two designs of this quadruple piston extender here this is the horizontal one and this is the vertical one, clearly by the orientation of the pistons. Now, the strange thing happened here is that in the case of the triple piston extender, I managed to make the vertical one faster than the horizontal one. But in the case of four piston extenders or quad piston extenders, the horizontal one <laughs> was made faster. And uh, this one is a bit slower. So let's begin with the faster one. So currently in front of me, I have a quad piston extender and also I realized by looking at these arrows on the observers is that I actually installed a resource pack which is much more useful in telling you which piston is which and where the observer is facing so that is quite nice that I have this now it will be easier for you to understand as well which observer goes where and in which direction alright let's continue by flicking the lever here we have our full extension that is brilliant now if we flick the lever again we also have our attraction which is fast and clean and also looking at our quadruple piston extender which is the vertical design we flick the lever here it goes up and then we have a rather slow retraction but I think it should be alright behind this if we compare the two designs this design is very heavy on observers as you can see there's lots of observers in this design but in the other design I have only used three observers like these other lit these are literally the only three observers that are there in this build here <laughs> and rest everything is based upon redstone and repeaters that is a big achievement for me because in my build for, for the first time I may be, I have not used so many observers in my build or it's like it's actually not a build it's only a small mechanism which is a part of a build all right so let's begin with the tutorial for the horizontal triple piston extender wait did I say triple piston extender? Sorry, that's a quad piston extender and uh, yeah, it's quad piston extender. Let's let's move on to the tutorial. All right, so to begin with, you need to have a seven by four area. This region is seven blocks long and four blocks wide like that. And for survival, if you want to build this in survival, here's the exact list of items you need. Beginning with five sticky pistons, three observers, 10 redstone dust, 15 redstone repeaters, one redstone torch, one lever, five transparent blocks or slabs i'm going to be using slabs so you can use any other block 27 blocks for the redstone and one block that you want to be pushed so let's begin all right so to begin with place a block here on the bottom left corner of your region remember th this is next to the chest i am taking the chest as a reference here then go seven along like this seven blocks like that over the first block the third block the fifth block and the seventh block you need to place four blocks on like this and then you can remove these blocks here on the first block you need to place a lever then on the three blocks in the middle of all of these bumps I shall call them bumps you need to place a repeater all on one tick delay like that now you can just simply place your four pistons like this sticky pistons and you need to, and then you can place a block in front this block is going to be extended and retracted so if you flick the lever here we see we have our full extension like that let's move on with the retraction for the retraction you need to come to the back here and then you need to create a falling edge monostable circuit now you might have seen a monostable circuit work a falling edge monostable circuit would mean that the monostable circuit would give out a pulse when I flick this lever off or the falling edge of the redstone signal so if you place a torch here it will turn off obviously because the lever behind it it's turned on then place a block next to this torch here and have a repeater on top of it then place a sticky piston here 
and a block on top. I'm going to be using a different block for the retraction because I'm going to color code my circuits but you can use any block if you want. I mean you can even use the same block here. Then you need to place a block here and a repeater on it. So you have created your falling edge monostable circuit. Then come next to this repeater. You can crouch and place a block like this and then go four long. One, two, three, four, like that. Then you need to place four more next to these and four, one block above and next to those pistons. Then you can have redstone dust on all four of these blocks like that. Now you would actually have to remove this block first and you can just place some slabs going up like this. One slab here, then block, slab, then block, and then slab. Then you can remove these temporary blocks here. Then place back this redstone. Now on all of these four blocks which you see here, you need to place four repeaters and from left to right, I'm going to be telling you the delay on each repeater. This one shall be on two ticks, this one on one tick, this one on three ticks, and then this one on two ticks, like that. So that will be about half of your attraction done. <laughs> then you need to place four redstone on three redstone on these slabs like this. Have a block here, one going up on that, then remove this block. Then come to this side here, place a block to the right or to the front if you are looking from the front, then one block down, remove this block. Then place a slab here. Remember to place a slab because we don't want this torch to power back into the piston when the signal turns off because that can cause problems. Then you need to place a repeater on three tick delay on this block. Then have redstone dust running into the piston. This redstone will activate the piston through quasi connectivity so you don't need to worry. All right, then let's come to this block here, place a block here, next to that slab, then one block more, one above it, one towards the front, then remove this block. Then you need to place a repeater here on four tick delay and a repeater here on two tick delay. Place redstone dust where the repeater is facing and then place a block on top of it. So that repeater is actually going to power this redstone dust here. Then finally what you need to do is you need to come two blocks like this from our final slab then you need to place a repeater here on four ticks, then a repeater on one tick, then have a block here, one block above, and a slab underneath. Then you can remove this block here. Place redstone dust on this block, then have an observer here. That's our first observer. This observer must look towards the right. Then you look at it from the front, take an observer from it downwards, and then place another observer going downwards, which is next to this observer here. Then place a repeater on two ticks and that's it. <laughs> that's the retraction part of your quadruple piston extender actually done. So if you flick the lever again, you see that we have our full retraction, which is neat, clean and fast. I love this retraction here. For a quad piston extender, that is beautiful. <laughs> okay, that's the horizontal design. Let's move on with the vertical one. So to begin with, you need to have a 4x4 four four area here. And if you want to build it in survival, the list of items consists of 5 sticky pistons, 1 regular piston, 13 observers, 8 redstone repeaters, 7 redstone torches, 4 redstone dust, 1 lever, 1 transparent block, I'll use a slab, 26 blocks for a redstone and 1 block that you want to be pushed and I'll use an iron block. So let's begin. So start with placing a block here which is on the bottom right corner of the zone which you have created or actually not a zone in the area. Then you come one block to the left one block up and you remove these two blocks here. This block is going to be your input block. You're going to place a lever on this block. Now for the extension, you need to create a torch tower. So you need to place a torch on this block towards the right, then a block on top, then torch. Oops, that was rest on us. <laughs> well, that will create a burnout circuit. All right, place a torch here, then another one here, a block, then a torch block, torch, block, and then torch again, block again, and torch, and then finally one block. Make sure your torch tower has six torches like this. So this will be your extension circuit. We are not going to add the pistons yet because just for, just for its sake, if I don't want to break the build here, 
Now if you come around the back, since now we are going to be doing the retraction circuit, I'm going to be using a different block, but you may want to cut but you may continue if you want to. Alright. So when we uh, for the retraction circuit first we want to come to this torch here which is the third torch from the bottom and on the block underneath it you need to place a block here then one more then one up then remove this block have a repeater on the first block on four take delay going towards this block place a torch here on this block redstone dust on the top of this block then have a block next to it and one down as well then have an observer which is facing downwards and a block here so on this observer you need to place another repeater on four tick delay and then redstone dust then what you need to do is you need to place a sticky piston facing upwards like that and then two observers coming from both of these blocks here the observer coming from the body and the arm of the piston so these will be coming towards your piston extender which is currently not here and then you need to place another observer which is facing towards these pistons on the face of this sticky piston right there then you need to come to this torch which is above this one then have another observer like that and then an observer from that observer which is coming towards these pistons Let's imagine there are pistons here. I have not placed them yet, but you can imagine. All right, then have a repeater on top of this observer placed on three tick delay like that. And then have another observer coming out of that. Then you can cover these dots using blocks here. So if you recognize this, we have actually used this kind of a circuit for a triple piston extender, the vertical design. I'm going to be continuing this design and using it in the quad piston extender as well. But now we have some twists. Why we place this observer here, this one is important. So we need to place a block here underneath the dot, then one more, one to the side, then remove this block. Place a regular piston underneath this block and redstone dust on top, like that. Then you need to place an observer which is going upwards. So when this piston actually activates, it will fire this observer which will fire redstone pulse. You get it, right? Then you place another redstone sorry another observer like that over there then you need to place this chest is coming the way then you need to place two observers coming out like this towards these pistons and i'll also change my block once again because yeah <laughs> all right then place a block here then on the second observer you need to take another observer like this going towards these pistons and then place a repeater on two ticks like that place another block here and then on this one, this observer, you need to place a block covering the dot. Place a repeater here on four tick delay. Then have an observer. You can crouch, place an observer like this, which is looking to this repeater. And then have a third block. So this is basically going to do the final retraction after your triple piston retraction. Now what you need to do is you need to come towards the back and back towards the top as well. I'm going to change my block again. <laughs> Yeah, so you need to place a slab here. All right, do place a slab because if it's a solid block, this observer can misfire into this redstone here, which will break the build. So continue by placing a slab here, then a block next to it, one block above it, then three block towards the side, towards the right, one block on the last block, one block here, and then you can remove these two corner blocks here. Then on each of these four blocks, you need to have place a repeater and all of them are on four tick delay. So place all of them and set them to four ticks. Then you need to have an observer here, a block here, a block on these three yellow blocks, and then place redstone dust. And this is the entire circuit done, but without the pistons right now. So let's place our pistons here. There's the first block. Sorry, the first piston next to the lever, then place three more on top of that. And then you can just grab your block. I'm having this block in my inventory and you can just place it here on top of this block, on the top of that piston. So if you have the extension like that, we flick the lever again. We see our attraction. It's a bit slow on the final attraction, but when you see the triple piston attraction first, 
ignoring this piston here that is quite fast because it was the original design i mean it was the design for the triple piston extender that i had made earlier and i have implemented it into this design so yeah and then you have the final attraction which is a bit slower and i could not do anything to make it any faster because it just broke the build every time all right so that would be all for this tutorial we have made both of these designs for the quad piston extenders and i hope you like these designs and if you did please leave a like down for this video and also be sure to subscribe to the plutonium place channel and ring the bell for further notifications